What's up guys? Welcome to my daughter Elia's wash day routine. Super excited to have you guys here. This video has been requested so many times. I'm finally filming it. It is dedicated to all the foster parents, adoptive parents, guardians, and biological parents of gorgeous black children. I realized that we were not all taught to care for natural hair growing up, myself included. Hair care of any texture is super important, especially for black children. It is a part of their identity and plays a huge part in their confidence and appearance. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you exactly how I wash and condition and prep my daughter's hair for a new style. Some kids prefer washing in the sink, some prefer washing in the shower, some in the bathtub, or even sitting on the living room floor in front of the TV with a spray bottle and some shampoo. Wherever you wash, it's totally fine. It's whatever works for you. First thing I do is just make sure my daughter's hair is nice and soaked with water. It's easier to work with when it's fully saturated. I am a huge fan of the brand Carol's Daughter. They are natural products that smell amazing and they just work so well, consistently. I'm using the Wash Day Delight Shampoo today and I just love the applicator tip. It makes it super easy to apply in all of the parts. So I use the parts from her previous style as kind of like a guide. So I pull her hair apart and just let it fall naturally to whatever her style was, wherever it was parted, and I go ahead and apply on her scalp everywhere. And that's what I use to kind of just guide to make sure that I'm getting shampoo everywhere. Her hair does not need to be washed very often. I keep it in a protective style most of the time. It keeps it pretty clean, but you don't want to shampoo their hair too much because it will dry it out pretty quickly and it's just not necessary. So every two weeks is appropriate for Elia's hair. When I massage in this shampoo, which is absolutely amazing guys, you have to try it. I'll put the link below so you can check it out it is just I love the shampoo I can't say enough good things about it but when you do it see how perfectly foaming and like luxurious it is it's like at a spa all that foam oh my gosh it's so good and it's super slick so I can just run my fingers through it easily and finger detangle which is very very important because their hair gets tangly really easily so detangling their hair as you shampoo and as you condition gently is just key to make sure that you get all the tangles out and it doesn't damage the hair so you don't have to do so much detangling when they get out of the shower. As you can see, my daughter Natalia popped in the shower with her bathing suit and wanted to help. My girls love doing each other's hair and I think it's really cool that she's shown an interest in how to care for Elia's hair and my older daughter Avea's as well. My next tip is to wash and condition hair in sections. It may not look like I'm doing it in sections because everything is all down, but Elia's hair has been in a certain style and the parts are pretty prominent. So I can see the parts. I can pull her hair apart and it stays in those parts. So I just gently grab each section and I finger detangled each section separately. And then I'm just gonna rinse it all at the same time, it's fine. But when I go in with my conditioner, the parts are still there, so I can easily pull it apart. Put conditioner on each section and just go ahead and finger detangle again. Finger detangling on every single step I think is probably my most important tip because it just makes life so much easier when they get out of the shower and it avoids a lot of unnecessary drama and tears and heartache from detangling. To make washing a little bit more manageable and pleasurable, I have Elia hold a little hand towel and just use it whenever some water or product gets in her face so she feels confident and she could just wipe it off herself. And just a quick reminder, if you are using the bathtub to wash your child's hair, please use the fresh, clean water from the faucet. Otherwise, or you're just redistributing that old product and dirt back in your child's hair. Well, now, after the hair is fully rinsed out and free of all of the shampoo, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some conditioner. I'm also gonna be using Carol's Daughter Conditioner today. Now, this is the time when I usually would apply some deep conditioner and put a cap on her hair and just let it sit for a while to make sure that all of her strands are penetrated. With the conditioner, this is a really important step that you do not want to miss 
for her texture hair conditioning conditioning moisture moisture is key to her routine but because her hair is in such great shape and we're a little limited on time nowadays with distant learning with five children we're just gonna do a condition and a really generous detangle to make sure all of her tangles are out. Again, coming in hot with the Carol's Daughter products, I'm using their Fortified Conditioner. It really works well for weaker hair that is more prone to breakage, and it has castor oil, ginger, and black cumin seed in it. Ooh, fancy. I've really seen a big difference in her length and the strength of her hair when using this conditioner. And again, just like the shampoo, I'm gonna go ahead and and just gently comb through her hair with my fingers, gently separating it just to make sure I'm getting out as much tangles initially as possible during the conditioning process. This is a really good time to make sure you do that because the hair is super slicked from the conditioner and it is a perfect time to just kind of naturally try to get most of those tangles out. And Natalia is back. After going through every single section of Elia's hair and just making sure that that conditioner is full Fully saturated I let it sit for a little bit and then I go through with the wide tooth comb going through with the wide tooth comb initially gets even more tangles out and then I kind of go down in size with the comb all the way to my Denman brush when she gets out of the shower to make sure that everything is perfectly detangled it's really important to start all the way at the ends and work your way up when detangling this to really avoid any type of breakage. Again, detangling in sections is really, really important. I just want you guys to know that I am not an expert. I'm just here sharing my routine and hoping to um, inspire and educate others that do not have as much education, you know, as people that grew up caring for black hair. I was just really inspired to start sharing more about my do to care for my daughter's hair because I have so many foster parents and adoptive parents as my subscribers and so i thought this would be a perfect opportunity to jump back on a video and just kind of tell you guys what we do and what our process is now just to add a little bit of an extra moisture boost to elia's hair i'm going to apply some of this shea moisture hydrate and repair protein powder treatment it smells absolutely amazing and it just gives her a little extra moisture i'm going to keep this on for about 10 15 minutes to make sure that it fully gets through to her hair I apply it from roots to end paying particular attention to damaged ends i rinse thoroughly and i style just as usual um, the cool thing about this product is you can also use it as a pre-wash intensive treatment as well. If you've watched some of my other videos, you'll know that I use a variety of different deep treatments. I don't know why, I just love switching it up. I feel like switching your products up exposes the hair to different ingredients and I think it's really beneficial for hair. One of the last steps is to do another detangle. I know what you're thinking, wow, you've detangled so many times, but you know, it's so necessary. Using your fingers, using the wide tooth comb, and then going in with an actual detangling brush is just key and a good foundation for a nice, clean, protective style. This detangle brush I found on Amazon and it has these really flexible teeth, I guess they're called. I've really seen a difference. It really helps to eliminate the amount of breakage. It's very gentle and it's super effective. I'll leave the link for you below. I think it was like seven or eight bucks. It's super affordable. And again, as always, when you detangle, work your way up. This really, really makes the process a lot simpler. So I'm just gonna work my way around Elia's head and every time I finish detangling a section, I'm gonna go ahead and just do a big loose 
twist to make sure that it stays detangled. I don't want it to be very tight at near the root because I'm going to go ahead and rinse with the big twist in it and I want to be able to put my fingers at the base like near the roots and be able to massage a little bit so I just want it to be loose near the roots. Okay, now it's finally time to get this gorgeous beauty's hair nice and rinsed out so that I can get her out of the shower and start prepping her for a style. I will be filming um, my style as well. I don't know what we're doing yet. <laughs> what I do is I just let Elia scroll through my phone on Google Images and pick something she likes. If it's something that I can do, awesome. If it's something that I can't do, I'll just schedule an appointment with my hair lady for you know the next couple weeks or so to get that style that she wants but I really want her to be a part of it and involved and I want her to pick her style it's you know her uniqueness it's her personality and this is her hair so I want whatever style that she wants if you guys are not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so now so you don't miss what we do to Miss Elia's hair, but mostly because I just wanna show you guys more of the products that I use. I have a holy grail hair oil that I really felt like changed Elia's hair dramatically. It has grown length and it is so moisturized and healthy because of this oil and I have a certain process of how and when I apply the different products to make sure I lock in all her moisture before I put that protective style in. So make sure you subscribe. Look how cute she is. OMG. <laughs> so make sure you subscribe to check that out. But I'm just going to grab some of our favorite leave-in conditioner from Carol's Daughter. And my trick is I just squirt some into a continuous misting spray bottle if you do not have one of these it is a must-have gotta have it I'll put a link below you could just get it on Amazon it's super cheap it has amazing coverage without having to you know squeeze your hands multiple times to get more of the product in the hair I'm gonna let her hair just chill and breathe for about three or four hours while I do other things around the house and get the kids fed before I do a style this evening, right before bed. So I am gonna go ahead and just apply the leave-in conditioner right now so it can just sit and do most of the work before I start styling her hair. But if I was gonna sit her down and just automatically get right into the style, then I would sit her down and just do my full process of all the products in each strand before I twist it or braid it or do whatever. But since I'm just gonna be chilling and letting it breathe for a little bit before I style it, I'm gonna get some leave-in conditioner in it and just go through it quickly with my Denman brush to make sure that all the tangles are smoothed out before I do big twists on it to ensure that the tangles stay out for the next three to four hours because if you don't do that it will get tangly and then you're wasting time and you're gonna have to go through and do it again yes for real guys it happens <laughs> so i'm just gonna quickly go through her entire head put it in big twists and then i will style it later on this evening i will be filming it it's probably gonna come out maybe a day or two after this video does so make sure you subscribe to see what cute style elia picked I wanna thank you guys so much for coming and watching Elia's wash day routine and leave any questions or constructive criticism or comments below. I really would appreciate it and I want us all to kinda of get together and support each other and help each other. So anything, any advice, whatever, just put it in the comments below. And let me know if you guys made it to the very Don't end. Don't forget that if you liked any of these products or tools, I will put them in the description box below and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. Bye guys, have a great day.